Since Edward Snowden published the leaked secret document from the NSA, there is no doubt that your email is read by various three-letter organizations. They may not be the only ones though. An unencrypted email can be read on transit from unsecured Wi-Fi connection or can be read from your disk if someone steals it. If you don't use full disk encryption, of course. Let's prevent all these problems by installing an extension to Google, Google Chrome, which is called Mailvelope. This adds a common email encryption scheme to Gmail or other webmail services. Let's learn how to install and use the extension now. We'll start by signing into our Gmail account and seeing just how the normal Compose Windows looks like so we can see the difference. So let's click Sign In. We see our normal inbox here and we click Compose and uh, there you see the normal window with two subject and the message body. Please note that the subject is never encrypted. We will now go to mailvelope.com and scroll down for a Google Chrome extension. We will click in the uh, Google Chrome store and click on free, we'll click on add. And this is the, the icon in toolbar where Melvelope lives. Uh, we can see various options and the menu entry called options as well. Uh, we start by clicking on generate key to create a new key pair. We'll fill our name and email address. And of course we need to enter the passphrase or password for our private key. This passphrase should be secure enough, long and should be different from your Gmail account or any other account. The keys are being generated right now. Okay, it's done. Now we can click on display keys and choose the key that we just generated. And if we click on export, there are various options for exporting the public part. The public part uh, is sent to anyone who wish to send us encrypted messages. So this is really public and we need to just copy it to clipboard and uh, paste it into a normal email to someone. Once they have our PGP public key, they can write us encrypted emails, uh, but we need to make sure that they have the right key. Okay, so we paste the key and send the email. Okay, the message has been sent. Now we need to call or meet with the other person and verify something called fingerprint. This is very important. Uh, we need to make sure that they have the right key for the security to be perfect, basically. So we need to verify the fingerprint. And if we have done that, uh, they can send us encrypted messages. So I have my first encrypted message here right now after the verification. You can see there is an envelope and if you click it, uh, we will launch the extension to decrypt our message. So now we can click the envelope and we of course need to enter our password. So we enter the password, we click OK and the message is decrypted. Uh, please note that it's not sent to Gmail or any other server. Uh, it stays locally uh, decrypted. Now we have another user's public key. We can click on the public key and it's being imported uh, to our key ring. So uh, if we click on submit and display keys, we can uh, see the key in the key ring. So let's click on the key and do the verification. So again, we see the fingerprint, which we need to verify over phone or in person. This is very important for security, so please do it. And uh, when you are sure that you have the right person's public key, we can uh, send them encrypted message. So we type to subject and body. We click on Melvelope icon and on the lock icon to encrypt. We choose the right public key to encrypt for. And we click on OK. We see there's a message that's encrypted. We 
we click on transfer and now we have the encrypted message in our compose window we click send and we have sent our first encrypted email thank you very much for listening i'm yuri bednar from citadelo and i hope that you will send encrypted email goodbye